So glad you guys could join. So what we're doing today, besides testing out YouTube Live, is uh, I have a mail call. And I've been meaning to film a mail call for a while now. This is stuff that's come in possibly up to a month. But, you know, uh, there's just a bunch of stuff that I'm excited for. Uh, some were like birthday gifts and just I, I pick up stuff anyway, on you know, being the the wet shaving enthusiast slash shaving degenerate that I am. So got got stuff. Andy, the p opinionated Brit. So sharp, David. How's it going? Melly Mel. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. So I've never done this before, as if you, as if you couldn't tell. So let's see. All right, well, so one thing on my Instagram that I posted yesterday was a uh, was some razors I got in from uh, London Razors and uh, London Razors is London, Kentucky. So we're not talking about the UK, Great Britain. We're talking about London within the USA, and they have some awesome vintage vintage razors. They also do plating and other kind of like restoration type stuff. So first up, well. I'll show you the, the goodies. So got an air freshener, which I really should pop in my car. I believe at one point uh, the razor company uh, was giving these out as well. So I, it makes sense. Barber, barbershop scented stuff in a shaving company, all for it. And one other thing is they also have uh, their own scent, Mountain Laurel. I believe, I know the, uh, the there's a shaving set after, you know, soap. And aftershave splash that was made for them by Summer Break Soaps, and I forget who did the actual scenting. Maybe it was between, um, uh, you know, the people behind London Razors and Summer Break. But it's called Mountain Laurel. If you like a like lavender, clean barbershop top type scents uh, with an old school vibe, I just dropped it. <laughs> Mountain Laurel smells really good. It smells really good. So got a nice sample of that. Also got some razor blades, which makes sense. This one. Chat, let me know. Is this coming in mirrored to you or do you, or can you read this properly? My guess is it's going to be up here backwards for you. But I uh, got these DE blades. I, I've seen them before. I believe this is... Uh, I'm going to botch this. I believe the spokesperson for this blade is a uh, Indian... Cricket player, I want to say. And please, you can, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, either way, some sorts, some sort of, you know, sports, uh, sports celebrity. And also some gem blades. And why gem blades? Because the thing I ordered were two gem razors. Uh, first was a user grade gem featherweight. And I forget if it's bake light, that material. It's just like the name says, it's very, very light. Uh, you can see it's it was gold plated, but the uh the, the top portion has worn off so it kind of has a cool two-tone look uh good old flippy top it clicks very satisfying <laughs> so that's a gem featherweight and the other one was it's either new old stock or practically new old stock uh ever ready 1912 and the razor's right here on this side but I don't have too many like cased vintage razors, but you can see it comes with the blade. I would say this is pretty good shape um, given the age of this razor. And this is the 1912, the Ever Ready 1912 Art Deco handle. I've been wanting, wanting one of these for a while. I heard they're great shavers, but look at that pattern. I mean, I don't know. It just, it just it's really appealing. And this thing is shiny as F. So you can see some of that there. So these these will be used in... I'm probably going to use that 1912 in my next shave, honestly. <laughs> uh, we've got some brushes, too. Brushes, big big surprise. Brush hose, sh shout out if you love brushes. Seth, thank, thank you. Seth says uh, you look sexy live. I try. I try my best, man. Uh, first up, I bought this one off my buddy Gerard. This one is uh, Mozingo. Awesome, awesome pour here. Yellow and black reminds me kind of Bumblebee from Transformers because that's where that's why I think of, I guess. Uh, here's I've always liked the Mozingo coin, and the knot is not the hand tied Mozingo knot, it is a Maggard's, I believe, 26 
I believe 26 millimeter uh, SHD knot. So really, really good weight to this. Nice classic shape. Um, I don't know. He, he was selling it. I I couldn't pass. I couldn't pass up on it. I I couldn't. Well, I couldn't pass up on it because when it was originally for sale, uh, I, I I almost bought it. And at the time, I was trying to be good and stick to my budget, which I did. But now that it's <laughs> available again, I was like, hell yeah, I am going to purchase that. Yeah, I forgot my uh, my ability to track both the chat and do the live. I'm a little rusty. The other brush is from uh, Pacific Shaving Company. This was sent as a thank you for participating uh, last year in the uh, Zoom Groom Challenge. So I know a few folks have used this. I know, uh, I think DK Damn Fine Shave showed it off. Super light brush here. We are looking at a cork, cork handle. Yeah, it's a cork handle. You can see the logo down here. I believe, I want to say it's either a 22, maybe a 20 millimeter synthetic knot. It feels, it feels pretty darn soft. Haven't used this yet, but this thing will float given that cork floats. So this could be a really good travel brush too, really small. And I think my kids might find it kind of kind of interesting uh, given the material. So yeah, so thank you, Stan, over at Pacific Shaving Company for setting this as a gift. And uh, what else? What else we got here? Let's move into software. Yeah, I said there's quite a few things. So software. This one is another gift. This was a birthday gift from my friend Ben at House of Mammoth. That is Tobacconist. So Tobacconist got the soap. I was about to say splash. <laughs> this is the, the bomb. And oh, one cool thing. You can hit me up afterwards uh, through direct message or something, but a few people were wondering if there was a pump applicator possible uh, that matches this bottle, and there is. So Ben was kind of to uh, let him know where you could find some matching pump bottles. So with my bottle of Embrace, I actually got this from a buddy. Uh, it, it works really well. And then Gerard sent me a few more. So my uh, future House of Mammoth bombs are going to have a pump app applicator. As far as the scent, I was... I actually smelled uh, an earlier version of the scent, and it it changed a bit. It changed a bit. Uh, I think for me, for the for the better. I mean, Ben takes a few iterations to refine the scent notes. Funny thing though, um, uh, the initial I forget what version, you know, which iteration it was, but it reminded me uh, the herbiness of it, and something about the combination of scents remind me of a, a Chinese medicine a Chinese medicine store. And that's something that Ben's wife also got out of. So I thought that was really funny. I don't get Chinese medicine vibe out of it anymore. And I haven't used it yet. So this will be coming up in an upcoming shave. Uh, really, uh, really enjoyable, unique tobacco scent right here. All right, next up, I got some things from my buddy Abe. Uh, that That's another soap set. Holy cow, Vorvi. I have heard from some people that it smells very similar or reminds them of uh, Tom Ford Tuscan leather. I did sniff this before, but... Okay, you know what? I was going <laughs> to say, it doesn't really smell like Tuscan leather. I smelled it again. It, it, it does. It, oh my gosh. I got that raspberry fruity berry note uh, prior. Now I, I I get that like leather like, like le leather and raspberry is essentially Tuscan leather to, to me at least. No, this smell this smells great. Uh, with the weather warming up, uh, I, I kind of I associate this as a cold weather scent. I, I better get this in before it gets too hot. Uh, Jack from Virtual Groom Room asks, "What are those headphones? These are these cans, very basic. I've had these for years. Uh, these are Sony. Let me let me tell you. Hold on." They're Sony MDR7506. They've been around for a long time. I've just had to replace the, the ear covers, which I was able to find some on Amazon. And these have worked really well. So uh, if you're looking for some, I think, sub $100 uh, headphones slash cans, 
I, I like I'm sure there's better, but these these are what I have and I, I enjoy it. Yeah, Jack, do you actually Jack is a big frag head too. Do you own Tuscan leather? Uh I, I wouldn't be surprised if you do. It's just a, it's a, such a solid. I have a dupe of it. I have one from uh uh La Yukawam by Rasasi. So that's a dupe because I'm cheap. I, I'm cheap when I can be. <laughs> Seth asks, how do you like Valentinka? That's another holy cow. Uh, I just covered that recently for uh, for West Coast Shavings channel. That is a... Also, it's not mentioned in the product write-up, but that is pretty much a dupe of uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kurjan. Mason? Mason Francis Kurjan? I think I just Frenchified a non-French word. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> MFK Baccarat Rouge, uh, which also is um, uh, the club club the club club Bakra is a dupe of the same scent. So I would say maybe it's dialed back a hair. And the thing with I, I like the scent, but Club Bakra uh, gave me some slight uh, some slight irritation. So I had to move it on. Luckily, uh, Valentinka doesn't, so it's staying in the den. Uh, Jack says I have in the past. I'm more of an ombre leather fan. Ah. I like that one too. That's on my to buy list. Once I once I uh, make it through, what the heck am I saying? <laughs> Ombre leather. I, I have a decant of it. So once I make my way through that, I will be picking that up. Ray, what's up? Had to wade through an ad to get here. Oh well, thank you for helping keeping the lights on by watching that ad. <laughs> I'm sure you could you could uh, skip it. You know. Ooh, Jack, you like Valentinka more. Anyway, before I forget, uh, post your product. Speaking of a and I've got some skin food nourishing cream. And this could be used as a post shave. It could be used as just general lotion. Uh, key ingredient here is hot. I, I, I can't ever say this word, but those who are into skincare know hi, hyaluronic, hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, <laughs> vitamin A, E, and C. So, uh, I, I like trying different post shaves. What can I say? And another one that I have my uh, radar, my, my my eye on is A uh, and E's rice water serum. So I'll be picking that up uh, once I kind of get my act together and get put an order in. Uh, this one I'm very excited to use. This is probably this. No, it's not the last item. <laughs> almost, almost forgot some stuff. But uh, this one, this next one, it's advanced set, paid for, so not a freebie. I know that I, I know that matters in this age of paid for reviews, but um, I will always disclose when I uh, when I'm given stuff. This one I was given the chance uh, from C Fourth slash Spearhead to pick up early, and that is Sea Spice Lime. This smells so good, so good, guys. I'm gonna smell it again because it makes for good content. <laughs> I smelled it before; it was awesome. So it's got uh it's it's an awesome lime like so if you like lime, you know, it's banging there, but it's not just straightforward lime. So the listed notes if I can put the lid back on, the listed notes are Tahiti lime. I feel like that should be Tahitian lime. Too late for that. I'm sure the labels are printed. But anyway, Tahiti lime, bergamot, sea spray, coriander, pink pepper, and oak moss. That oak moss, at least my guess is that oak moss is giving me a slight powdery vibe, makes it a little, a uh, little classic old school feeling. So it's like a, so it makes it a clean lime old school scent. I think it, it's a, it's a great addition. Uh, this is the third scent from Seaforth, and I will say honestly, the other two, Heather and Spiced, lean a little too old school for me. A little, just a, a tad. I enjoy them, but they lean a little old school. This, this is my favorite of um of the three c fourth cents so far so i know a lot of folks already know about this and ha have it on their radar let me uh let me confirm that this scent is really really nice especially um because it's not straightforward lime it doesn't have to be just used in warm weather but because it's lime forward it's gonna be so good uh in you know as spring's wrapping up into summer it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome See here yeah i got the hair <laughs> you like that i put hair product too but sometimes there you go my headphones can help help keep that hair down 
gotta gotta look good for the YouTube, right? <laughs> Jack mentions that Club Okay, Club Bakra is closer to the EDP of Bakrat Rouge and Valentinka reminds him more of the X trait. And those are different for those who aren't into fra fra fragrances as much. Those are different concentrations, but oftentimes can uh, lead to interesting like nuances and variations within the same scent. So the X trait is more concentrated than the Eau de Parfum, EDP. Under the EDP is EDT, Eau de Toilette. And then if you ever see Eau de Cologne, EDC, that is the lightest. Technically, if you want to say aftershave, because a lot of designer, or a lot of yeah, designer fragrances have um, aftershaves. That would be one below Eau de Cologne. That's kind of the pecking order of fragrances, and that actually segues uh, to the end. Uh, you know, the, the last thing I want to show. Uh, these were also birthday gifts from my loving family, and I got two Canum two mammoth scents here because. They actually they form they form together like Voltron to create one. <laughs> Let me get closer to the mic. These if you get all their eau de parfums, they will combine together like Voltron to create one image. But you can see them show you the side. Got the mammoth logo, rather the mammoth name on the side, and the fragrance is here. Huga and embrace. And I already have mood indigo, so these are my second and third editions and they're probably my top three scents from from mammoth uh huga is has been described as a barbershop but it's got it's got a lot going on it's got way more complex but it's very cozy very enjoyable very unique i would say in general house of mammoth has got very unique scents embrace is all about that musk and in a moment of you know to be honest i love the soap set it's already pretty strong the musk in the Eau de Parfum, it might be too much for me. And the other thing is my my wife wasn't a huge fan in the first place. I knew that already had soap set, uh, but she wasn't a huge fan. <laughs> she wasn't much more of a fan of the Eau de Parfum because she she was asking me what I was wearing when I was like coming down the stairs and she was like two or three rooms away. So it is, it is uh, it's, it's strong there. And... I'd say even like I applied it in the morning, one spray on my wrist. After an evening shower the next morning, I could still smell it on my wrist. So uh, if anyone's wondering what is a longevity and what's the <laughs> what's the scent projection and all that stuff, they're they're strong. They're strong. Yes, yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. That um he called it uh I hope I'm saying it correct, Huga, uh given that it's a that word, you know, what it, what, what the heck am I trying to say? Uh, it's a word that encompasses a lot. And I know it's almost like it's like a way of life, but uh, something about being cozy, uh, familiar, comfortable, uh, home. Uh, there, there's a there's a great write up on it. If you've never seen it, uh, I think uh, Ben is quite the the wordsmith too. And I know this is a lot of uh, praise for House of Mammoth, but. It it goes along. I mean, it's what I got in my mail call, so that's uh, that's why we're talking about it. So, yeah, okay. Uh, Sig is just writing out the pronunci pronunciation of it, but I'm not sure how to read that. <laughs> I yeah, it's fine. So yeah, so that that is anyway. As I was saying, that 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 is uh, that's it for for the for the mail call and. This is working pretty well. I know for like I'm on the East Coast here in the U.S., but uh, for nearing one o'clock, unannounced. I mean, I, I did put like a little thing, 15 minutes before it's coming on. But um, I'm, I'm glad you guys could could join on. Uh, you know, I, I'm think I don't know. Uh, just to give some updates, uh, I've been rethinking things um, as far as you know videos, whether to do it on. In, in the beautiful studio, doing videos live, keeping things fun and fresh. And I mean, you know, uh, honestly speaking, uh, shaving in front, in, in the bathroom, rather shaving in the bathroom, uh, there's, as far as shaving content goes, that's, that's majority, like 99% of that's what people are doing. And I, I'd love to, 
mix things up, you know, uh, maybe because uh, we recently had talked to Matt Pisarsic, uh and him and Douglas from PAA had done I'd Lather Be Shaving, which, you know, they, they had a they had a legit set. They had a legit film crew. So uh, as far as moving the needle, as far as what's available um, to wet shaving enthusiasts, fans, um, that that certainly was a program that or rather a show that did it. And not that I, I I have that budget or I'm I'm trying to accomplish that. Also, I, I'm just doing this as a hobbyist for fun. Um, just looking for things I'm keep, to keep things uh, engaged for me. But also, I know the most important thing about this content creation game is being consistent. Um, just as you know, as you guys are uh, watching and supporting, uh, you know. Every little bit helps for those who are in the live chat now. For those watching this on the replay, uh, bless you for for making it through this far. Uh, oh, this very stream of consciousness kind of video, but um, I, you know, I want to do right by you as well. And that whether that's giving honest reviews, being upfront, disclosing stuff, you know, uh, th from that angle, but also as far as. I, I, the, the entertainment part, I guess, is what I've been thinking of. And Lather Talk, the podcast, uh, kind of it checks all the bar boxes for me as far as like having guests or um, talking to you know my friend Gerard. Uh, th those are fun collaborative ways to do it. So um, I know I like that, and and that's not going away anytime soon. But um, yeah, so so that, just to let you in a little bit on my thinking process, I, I am trying to think of you know. Uh, just ways to keep things mixed up. Uh, recently, there have been a bunch of tag videos, and I know Jack's watching. And I owe <laughs> I owe him a fragrance tag video. I haven't forgot. I haven't forgot. Um, but that kind of stuff actually, it, lists are pretty easy, pretty easy to make typically, unless like it requires some research, like that fragrance tag video. Because I don't know, I don't know what's been discontinued, what's not, and what anything costs. So that so it took it's taking a little bit more research time, but otherwise, just sharing like my top five favorite uh, DE safety razors. That's pretty. It's pretty fun, pretty quick to make, and it really seems like what what folks on the channel want to see too. Uh, the, if I can only have five, so th these are all. I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, these are like all tag videos coming up. Uh, a lot of them originating from IMCDB. So we have. We have Chris to thank because I think he's always doing a lot uh, for the community, thinking about things for the community, uh, and uh, you know, doing it right by fellow content creators by uh, looping them in. So that, that that's been that's been fun to do. Uh, speaking of which, it is the, the favorite de razors is at the top of my mind because that's another video I need to do. So yeah. Jack, you're up for more collab videos. All right, we should talk. We, maybe we can we can hatch hatch an idea. I know that we've had you on the podcast, but maybe uh, you and me we can we can work on something uh, for the YouTubes. So that that would be fun. And yeah, uh, in the same way, spirit of collaboration. I know there's plenty of people who have channels that are watching too. So uh, although you know within uh, uh, within YouTube, there's not great ways to exchange ideas and whatnot directly. You can always hit me up on Instagram. I'm on Facebook as well, but I'm pretty active on Instagram. So feel free to message me there if you guys ever have um, any ideas. Uh, so, so, you know, I might, I do as much as I can as my schedule allows. Uh, I'm a family man. I have two young children. So sometimes, sometimes that's why you only get one video. <laughs> you only get one video a week. Sometimes like today, I'm in a really good mood. Uh, I got out. I had an actual in-person work-related thing. Uh, otherwise, I'm usually remote. So maybe I, I think I definitely, as a at least as a uh, slight extrovert, I get charged. I get energy from uh, being around people, and even you know, even something small like that uh, was able to give me momentum and give this YouTube live thing a try today. So yeah, so I don't know, a little little inside peek, you know. Uh, Again, not trying to be all business all the time. Uh, I want to be, you know, I want the channel to be so much more than just a product review channel. I do want to share at least some uh, uh, some of my own, you know, own personality and and who I am on this channel as well. So uh, I think that's going to wrap things up because we've just hit the half hour mark. But uh, I want to thank you guys so much. Again, this was like impromptu with not much, uh, not much 
announcing. And I do hope in the future, though, to give more of a heads up, at least a few days notice, um, make this a somewhat regular thing. Uh, I think there's a lot of a lot of potential for fun stuff we can do uh, yeah, with, with uh, this live format. So uh, I do want to thank you guys. Yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in, for chatting it up. Uh, I do wonder if this chat is saved afterwards because I know I missed I missed a few comments, but uh, really appreciate everyone here. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you real soon. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one.